Good morning all my fellow boneheads. I am here with another map first impressions. I'm Bonehead and this is Bonehead Inc. And we do what they call first impressions of maps. I haven't actually been on the map and looked at it yet. I have downloaded it and I've got it all ready to go. But I have not gone in and done any gameplay or checked anything out. So without further ado, let's jump in there and see what we got. So we are going to be doing Hobo's Hollow four times. It is by Haggis. Uh, it is a file size of 273. It might be Haggis is the name of the author of it. I might have messed that up. I'm sorry about that. But welcome to Hobo's Hollow. Enter the land of the time forgot where the weeds grow thick and the hobos roam free. There are 57 fields, various sizes, and a selection of forestry plots to suit all of your logging needs. This map includes a section of empty plots that are ideal for production placement or maybe starting a new farm. There are eight cell points, sawmill, debris crusher, and a starter farm with everything you need to get started on new farm remote. Benefit from a custom growth calendar which allows double cropping. Plant a winter crop and harvest the next summer. If you are quick, you can plant again in the harvest in the autumn. Step back in time on Hobo's Hollow with your very own taste of rural USA and have fun and happy farming. So it sounds pretty interesting. Like it's got a couple new uh, new things added to it, such as the crop thing. I'm kind of curious to check that out. Um, I'll show you a couple. Well, we'll just go ahead and jump into the game. How's that sound? We'll make sure I got it all downloaded up here, and here we go. So here we go, I got it in uh, five here, saved up. I can turn on all my mods, let her load up a little bit. In case you're new to my map tours, I, like I said, I don't, I haven't been in here, I haven't played on it, so this is just a basic a first impression of the map. Um, like I said, this is Ho Hobo's Hollow, and it's rural USA. So here we go, we'll just jump in, and we're here at the starter farm. I am on new farmer mode, so all the equipment, if you were to play it on new farmer mode, will show up. We'll do a quick look at our farm here, and then we'll kind of jump around the map and then do some aerial stuff. So it looks like you got your basic farmhouse. Um, you got a, a rustic barn that kind of looked like it had uh, been here for a little while. That's kind of cool. I like that. Looks like there's some plenty of space and storage area inside there. And I do like these sheds. I use them quite a bit in all my gameplays. I just like being able to pull in and pull out. That's uh, pretty good. Looks like we got a silo that doesn't have to have augers. You got a dump point on the ground, so I like that. That's a plus because I don't really like using the augers. If you like using the augers, uh, then you might want to get rid of that and put in. We got a water by point there. So that's pretty much our farm. It's kind of small, you know, the basic little farm area, farmhouse, kind of small. But it does look like we got some trees that you could cut, take and cut down. And maybe make some money off them trees. Um, we've got a lot of grass that we can take and mow and do a little bit of landscape around here to clean the area up. So that that's a plus. Um, let's check out what type of farmland we own. So we'll jump over to the map. So here's your map. Look, and you start right here is your basic farm. Looks like we own field four. Doesn't look like it's a very big field. It looks like it's probably about the smallest field on the map. So I guess it's just a basic starter field. Not very big, not very small. Uh, well, it's small, but not very big. And looks like all your other fields are, they just jump around in various sizes. Let's check out the prices on them, see what we got. Uh, like field four here. Well, you're in the. With that whole little chunk of land right there, you're at 282,000. So field five, what's it going to be run? You're about 326. So they're they're decently priced, but they are decently sized the way it, it looks. So you know, field 10 here is two million. Field 57, two million. So if you want to get the bigger ones, you're going to have to have some cash. So uh, looks like you're going to kind of have to. There's a lot of logging stuff that you could do. How much is like a logging area? That's 910 right next to our farm. So it might be a little expensive to get started up on this map. So I I don't know how well it would play out in new farmer mode. Maybe uh, 
farm manager or even uh, start from scratch. I don't know if a start from scratch would be good either because you, you ain't really starting off with a lot of money. So, But now what we'll do is we'll jump back out of here, back to our farm. We'll kind of go jump up into, get into flight mode here, and we will kind of fly over some of the fields, kind of take a look what they look like. So this field cover uh, right here is this blackish brown one. That is our our starter field there, which I like how it has like the dirt pathway back to it. This one over here would be field five, which looks like a field that you could probably start off. So that's about like a medium sized field. This looks like a pretty much the large field that we were looking at on the map. So kind of give you a, a thing. In the looks like you got a a waterway over here lake or yeah it's a lake looks like there's a lot of trees the area that you could farm for trees would be here but it looks like it's on a hill so you might have to do some landscaping on there but the fields that don't look too bad let's kind of jump around and see if there's any cell points so we got plenty of cell points you got one that's a campsite highway producers I mean, that's where your vehicle shop is up there with the animal dealer uh, you got a fuel station so pretty much your v gas station and v uh, shop is up there looks like there's only one gas point on the map and it only looks like there's one production which is a sawmill so you have your ample ability to put if you're just starting off you're gonna have to put your own productions on which that's all right because a lot of times I like doing that. So, therefore, you know, it ain't too bad. At least they started. I wish they had a BGA in here because it does look like there is some grass areas that we can mow to make some extra money. But that'll be all right. We'll see if we can what we can sell off. Um, you got all your basic crops. You got plenty of options. As far as your production stuff go, let's look at eggs here. Um, there's you can sell off eggs. What about lettuce and tomatoes for your greenhouses? sell them off at the campsite so that campsite sell point looks like it is just a sell point for pretty much all your production stuff it's on there everywhere um you can sell off planks and stuff at the sawmill um let's look at silage doesn't look like there's a bga so you don't have a bga but you can sell silage bales at the hobo's bale sell point so that's kind of cool uh, at least you can sell off your all your all your stuff um, you don't start off with any crop. It doesn't look like or anything in your bins. So you'd have to, before you could sell any grain or anything, you have to wait till your uh, starting point. Um, the double, this is something that kind of intrigues me. He said something about having a double season. So if you were to plant here in September or plant in March, you should be able to harvest in June and then replant. But it doesn't look like you can. Oh, that's kind of weird. But I don't know. You have to kind of check it out. You can do your wheat and barley, which are usually here. But uh says that you can harvest, plant your. Yeah, you can take and plant here. I mean, you wouldn't be able to replant them fields until you could harvest them. So I don't know. It's something to check out, play around with, and see what it is. Uh, Looks like some crops you might be able to get two plantings done in one season. There's what it looks like to me. So it's something to check out. Kind of interesting. I haven't seen that before. So without without being said, here's your, here's a good aerial view of the place. Not too bad. It looks really good. A lot of detail. You know, kind of basic stuff. So we'll jump back to the map here. Um, like I said, there's only one cell point, which is the sawmill. So we'll go visit that place. So here's your sawmill. It's got the big style sawmill building. Kind of like this one better. Uh, you know, I think there's only like two, maybe three sawmills that you could choose from. But that I, I like that one. That one looks pretty good. Um, so you could do a lot of logging if you wanted to. But it does look like it's going to be a little expensive to get into logging. Because like all your forest plots you know that one's 800 that one's 427 which is not too far away from the farm what about right here that's 501 yeah so 
you're going to spend a little bit of money, but it looks like you're going to start off with some logging that you can do maybe to build up on your money. And we'll have maybe get into it and play it and see what, uh, this looks like if you buy what this one here, you'll get all these little plots. So that might be something, but it's $2 million. So it's something to kind of check out and look into. Um, so it looks like you can basically start off with doing some logging, maybe a little bit of grass work if there's some grass areas. So that's, I kind of like that. We'll jump over here to our garage and see what we have. Small tractors, it looks like we have the T6 New Holland. Great tractor, I like using that. It's a good small tractor. Um, medium tractors are going to start us off with the 4755, as I call it, the big deer. And a Massey Ferguson 3670. Uh, we have the basic ink starter combine, basic starter truck, basic trailer, basic header. Looks like we got another three mil. I'm not even going to go in there. Three miller cultivator, three meters planter, and you got a subsoiler. But this is something that kind of intrigues me right here. These three things. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever seen on a map that they start you out with a fertilizer spreader, front loader, and loader tool. So there's an unexpected uh, thing that you don't have to buy. So you could, you get your, you pretty much got everything you need to start off with other than a mower and a chainsaw. So that shouldn't be that much. You know, I think you can get a, a basic mower for right around 15 grand and a chainsaw costs a thousand. So you're already, if you're starting off in new farmer mode, that's about all you have to do uh, is buy a chainsaw and that, and you, can, you should be up and ready to go. That field's small enough, so the three-meter cultivator and cedar will work out for you pretty good. I kind of like the fact that they put a subsoiler in instead of a plow, so that's a plus there. Um, you know, you got it looks like you got some pretty decent deals on tractors and stuff in the store for on sale. Let's see what contracts look like here. That's another way of making some money. You know, your contracts got really good prices on them, it looks like. You know, you could take and lease your stuff off. So, if I would have to say, I'm going to jump back up in the air. We'll get a view from this point here. Which, this is from down, just, uh, I think it's south of our farm. I think your starter farm's right there. Um, so, it doesn't look too bad. You know, the fields are, once you get away from the field area, it looks like you got some decent sized fields. Which that that could beat a lot, so looks like you got some fields up over there. My overall and first impression of the map is it is decent. Uh would I play on it? Yes, I probably would. I I might even try doing like a challenge stream series or maybe a let's play on it. I give it a four out of five. I, I recommend you download it. It's got some couple different features in it. The biggest things that I like the most out of it is that it has a spreader already for you and your loader. So it has some different options for you starting off in new farmer mode. Um, if I was to play on it, though, I'd probably start off on uh, farm manager. That way I can get a little bit more money so I can maybe buy a couple more chunks of land or different land and stuff like that. Maybe build my own farm on this far, uh, map. Um, as far as your production stuff goes, uh, looks like you're going to have to put down any type of productions that you want to do. So I, like I said, I'm going to rate this a four out of five. I do recommend that you download it and give it a try. See what you think of it. Uh, feel free to leave me a comment, um, on my YouTube page, send me an email, or you can even comment in my discord or Facebook page. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you like it, hit make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe and hit that bell because you never know when I'm going to do something bonehead. This is Bonehead, and I'll be talking to you in the next video. Have a good day, guys.